When we see a military jet streaking across the sky, it's often marked with a combination of letters and numbers, like F-22 or B-2. But what do these designations really mean? Let's dive into the fascinating world of military aircraft classifications, where every letter tells a story of function, history, and strategy. The designation system we're most familiar with originates from the United States military and was standardized by the U.S. Department of Defense to organize and identify aircraft by their roles. Each letter stands for a specific mission type, and here's what they mean. F stands for fighter. These aircraft, such as the legendary F-15 Eagle, the stealthy F-22 Raptor, and the multi-role F-35 Lightning II, are designed for air-to-air -air combat. They're the first line of defense and offense in maintaining air superiority. A stands for attack. Attack aircraft like the A-10 Thunderbolt II, affectionately known as the Warthog, and the AH-64 Apache helicopter are built for ground attack missions. They specialize in close air support, providing cover for ground troops and taking out enemy targets with precision. B represents bomber. These powerful aircraft are built for strategic or tactical long-range missions, carrying large payloads to hit key targets. Notable examples include the stealthy B-2 Spirit and the formidable B-52 Stratofortress, which has served for decades. C stands for cargo or transport. These workhorses, like the C-130 Hercules and the C-17 Globemaster III, are responsible for moving troops, equipment, and supplies. They are essential for both logistical and humanitarian missions. H denotes helicopter. While this letter is often seen as part of designations like the UH-60 Black Hawk, it indicates a rotary wing aircraft designed for various missions, including transport and assault. E means electronic systems and is used for aircraft designed for electronic warfare or surveillance. The E-3 Sentry, known for its airborne warning and control system, and the EA-18G Growler, specialized in electronic attack, are key players in modern warfare's electronic domain. P generally stands for patrol, particularly for long-range maritime surveillance aircraft like the P-8 Poseidon, used for anti-submarine and reconnaissance missions. R is for reconnaissance. These aircraft are designed for intelligence gathering and surveillance. The SR-71 Blackbird, one of the fastest jets ever built, set the benchmark for high-altitude reconnaissance. V indicates vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL capability. The V-22 Osprey is a standout example, blending the speed of a plane with the hover capability of a helicopter. Some aircraft combine designations for multi-role purposes. The FA-18 Hornet, for example, is both a fighter and attack aircraft, while the AH-64 Apache is an attack helicopter. Historically, the designation P was used for pursuit during World War II, seen in aircraft like the P-51 Mustang. But as military tactics evolved, so did the naming conventions. The U.S. designation system isn't just limited to the United States. NATO allies and partner countries often use American-made aircraft, making this system recognizable worldwide. Countries like the UK, Australia, and many NATO member nations incorporate these designations into their operations due to shared missions and interoperability in joint exercises. However, other countries and military organizations have their own unique systems. In Europe, aircraft such as the Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale follow a different naming convention that reflects their development origins and multinational roles. The Typhoon, for instance, doesn't use a specific letter designation system, but represents a collaborative European fighter project. Russia uses an entirely different method. Aircraft are designated based on their manufacturers and models, such as the MiG-29 Fulcrum, where MiG stands for Mikoyan and Gurevich, or the Su-27 Flanker, developed by Sukhoi. NATO, in turn, assigns reporting names for these aircraft, typically starting with F for fighters and B for bombers, like the Su-24 Fencer. China also employs its own system, using designations like J for fighter aircraft, seen in models like the J-20 and J-10. J stands for Jian, meaning fighter in Chinese, and these designations reflect their indigenous military development. Whether it's the U.S. military's standardized system or unique international conventions, these designations aren't just random codes. They reveal a lot about an aircraft's role, capabilities, and the country of origin. In the skies, these letters and numbers are the keys to understanding a powerful world where technology, history, and global strategy converge.
Want to learn more about the stories behind military aircraft? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below.